हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल बंसल बायोलॉजी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट अ न्यू टॉपिक नोन एज कार्डियक साइकिल फॉर दिस टॉपिक यू मस्ट नो अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ह्यूमन हार्ट इफ यू डोंट नो अबाउट द टॉपिक प्लीज गो टू माय प्रीवियस लेक्चर हुज लिंक आई हैव मैंशन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिगार्डिंग द एम्स एंड नीट क्वेश्चन पेपर many previous many questions have come in these previous year papers some of the question we will be discussing in my next lecture so let's get started with the lecture in this lecture i will be dealing all the part which are important for the neat and aims paper so first of all first of all let's see what is cardiac cycle cardiac cycle is the performance of human heart human heart in one heartbeat what does it mean cardiac cycle is the performance of human heart in one heart beat you guys must be knowing that a human heart beats 72 times in a minute 72 times in a minute so total 72 heart beat are there in one minute so out of these 72 times in each heart beat what is the function which are performed by a human heart is known as cardiac cycle okay so our heart is muscular in nature is muscular in nature our heart contains our heart contains a muscular layer known as myocardium known as myocardium that is a muscular layer okay so this myocardium plays a very important role in cardiac cycle before starting with the actual topic let's learn about two terms that are very important one term is known as systole and another term is known as diastole systole and diastole what is systole systole is the contraction and diastole is the relaxation imagine if these two lines if we push these two lines inwards then they will contract and they will reduce in their size this is known as contraction or what we what we can say systole systole is the reduction in size to contract while relaxation is once these two line are contracted they will come back to their original location original place this term is known as relaxation or we can say diastole systole and diastole two terms are very important when we learn about cardiac cycle so let's start with the main topic cardiac cycle so this is a human heart the blue color is showing the right hand side of the heart and red color is showing the left hand side of the heart so first of all our heart is in diastole condition diastole meaning relaxation condition no blood is present in the heart right now so first of all what will occur in the right atrium the superior vena cava the inferior vena cava and coronary sinus three veins three veins will give the blood to the right atrium the blood will be deoxygenated blood these three veins will deliver the blood in the right atrium due to which a pressure due to which a pressure will be generated in the generated in the right atrium as there as this bag as this chamber is full of blood now 
सो दे आर विल बी अ प्रेशर ड्यू टू दिस प्रेशर दिस ट्राई कस्पेड वॉल विच इज प्रेजेंट बिटवीन द एट्रियम एंड वेंट्रिकल दिस विल ओपन अप दिस ट्राई कस्पेड वॉल्व विल ओपन वाई इट ओपन ड्यू टू द प्रेशर विच इज जनरेटेड इन टू द राइट एट्रियम ड्यू टू इट्स ओपनिंग वॉट विल हैपन नाउ द ब्लड फ्रॉम राइट एट्रियम विल एंटर इन टू द राइट वेंट्रिकल सो दिस ब्लड हैज एंटर इन टू द राइट वेंट्रिकल बट आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ ब्लड विच इज प्रेजेंट इन टू द राइट एट्रियम only 70% will enter into the right ventricle what about the another 30% it will enter in ventricle only when the atrium will contract this was about right in left there will be the same condition instead of three three veins four vein will bring blood to left atrium and these four veins are pulmonary vein they will give blood to left atrium due to which once again pressure is generated by cuspid wall will open up and the blood will goes into the left ventricles here also only 70% blood is going into the left ventricle both the thing are occurring simultaneously now what about the 30% so you guys do you remember that there was a sinoatrium wall sinoatrial node sorry there was a sa node this sa node will generate a action potential what is action potential action potential is a message that will tell the two atrium to contract the two atrium to contract if these two atrium will contract what will happen the remaining 30% of the blood will enter into the ventricles so the remaining 30% of the blood enter in ventricle by the action potential generated by sa node so now what will happen now the pressure will be generated into the ventricles as all the blood has entered into the ventricle so now what will happen due to this pressure that is generated into the ventricle the tricuspid and bicuspid valve will be closed so that there will no be no be backflow of the blood as the ventricles are generating the pressure we have to stop the backflow of the blood so the tricuspid and bicuspid valve will be closed so now what happen pressure generated in both ventricles due to which what happens tricuspid and bicuspid valves closed why they are closed to prevent back flow now now what will happen due to this pressure two valves will open up which valves are they semi lunar valve do you remember a semi lunar valve yes they are present on the opening of aorta and they are present on the opening of aorta and pulmonary artery so these will open up with what are these these are semi lunar valve semi lunar valve will open up what will happen when these semi lunar valve open up due to the pressure of ventricles the blood from ventricles will enter into the aorta and pulmonary artery 
from right ventricle blood will enter to pulmonary artery and from left ventricle blood will enter to the aorta okay so blood has entered into the aorta and pulmonary artery now what will happen now there will be a pressure generated in aorta and pulmonary artery and we don't want the backflow of the blood so now what will happen first of all blood enter in aorta and pa pa as in pulmonary artery due to which pressure is generated in both the vessels now what will happen due to which closure of semi lunar valve will occur so that no backflow can occur in the ventricles okay so first of all what happens ventri articular systole at that time ventricular valve in diastole condition as in relaxation condition blood enter in the ventricles due to which what happens atrium relaxed atrium get into diastole condition and ventricular goes into systole condition after that what happen blood enter into the aorta and pulmonary artery so ventricular also go in diastole condition they go into the diastole condition so first of all what happened first of all atrium systole occurred at that time ventricles were in diastole condition after that ventricles go into the systole condition at that time atrium was in diastole condition after that both are in diastole condition that is relaxed condition okay so now two voices are heard that that are love and dub whenever a doctor use stethoscope he he or she hears two sounds that are love and dub so whenever the tricuspid and bicuspid valve close the first sound is listened that is known as love and whenever the two semi lunar valve are closed the second voice is listened that is known as dub that is known as love so these two are the sounds which a doctor listen next let's see the different phases of cardiac cycle as we know that our heart beat 20 two beats in 1 minute and in 1 minute how many seconds are there 60 seconds right so one beat is for how long time can anybody tell me it is of 60 upon 72 then it will come about approximately 0.8 second so one beat is of 0.8 second or i can say that one cardiac cycle is of 0.8 second right so in 0.8 second let's start from here in 0.8 second the 0.1 second is of atrial systole as in atrium will contract for 0.1 second after that the blood enters into the ventricles and ventricle will die. systole sorry at atrial systole will be of 1 0.1 second that is contraction of atrium after that ventricular systole will occur ventricles will undergo contraction and this is of 0.3 second after that the blood goes into pulmonary artery and aorta 
एट दैट टाइम जॉइंट डायस्टोल विल अकर बोथ विल अंडर गो रिलैक्सेशन दैट विल बी ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट फोर सेकेंड सो नाउ फॉर हाउ लॉन्ग आर्ट्रियल डायस्टोल हैज टेकन प्लेस फॉर हाउ लॉन्ग आर्ट्रियल डायस्टोल हैज टेकन प्लेस समवन विल रिमेंबर दैट इट इज फॉर जीरो पॉइंट फोर सेकेंड नो इट इज फॉर जीरो पॉइंट सेवन सेकेंड हाउ At this time also the atrial was in diastole condition, so total atrial diastole was of zero point four plus zero point three is equals to zero point seven second. This is atrial diastole. So for how longer ventricular diastole has occurred? It has occurred for zero point four plus zero point one is equals to zero point five second. Okay, so this is atrial diastole. In one beat, in one beat, each ventricle, each ventricle releases nearly seventy mL of blood nearly 70 ml of blood is released by each ventricle during one beat so can anyone tell me in 72 beats how much blood will be released it will be 70 into 72 approximately the value will be 5000 ml or we can say that 5 liter This seventy mL of volume is known as stroke volume. Okay, so stroke volume into heart beat is equals to five thousand milliliter. This is known as cardiac output. that in one minute how much blood is released by each ventricles this formula is very important regarding the neat and aims questions okay one more thing in the previous diagram that during the ventricles contract there is a message given to the ventricles also that message is given by the av node av node and bundle of his these two gives the message to ventricles this is bundle of his these two gives the message to ventricles to contract ventricles ventricles to Contract or to undergo systole, like SA node was giving the message to atrium to go into the systole. Likewise, AV node is giving the message to ventricles to contract so that blood can enter into the aorta and pulmonary artery. So this was all about cardiac cycle. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.